I'm staying at the St. Regis Bora Bora, one of the most luxurious resorts located out here in French Polynesia, which is one of the most desirable vacation destinations in the world. This is a dream vacation that can cost upwards of $10,000, which is a crushing price that turns most people away. But I did it for only a few hundred dollars out of pocket, and in this video, I'll let you know the tips and tricks so that even you can go to Bora Bora and enjoy one of the most extravagant spots in the world and turn this dream destination into a reality. To start, let's talk about how to get to Bora Bora which for those who don't know is actually quite difficult to get to. As a very remote island, Bora Bora has no direct flights from outside of French Polynesia. Instead, you'll have to fly into Papeete, the capital of French Polynesia, and then take an inter-island flight from there. Unfortunately, Papeete itself also has very limited options for flying into, but luckily, United Polaris is one of them. Flying out of San Francisco, you can take the United Polaris business class using only 55,000 aeroplan points on this route, which for Canadian viewers going from Vancouver to San Francisco to Papayete, this falls just under the first distance band of the North America to Pacific chart and so it'll still cost just 55,000 aeroplan points. That's an amazing sweet spot that you definitely got to book if you can find the United Polaris availability. You can also travel to Papayete using the Air Tahiti Nui Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which while it isn't part of any alliance, still allows you to book using 80,000 American miles or 60,000 Alaska miles from Los Angeles or Seattle. Now neither American or Alaska's points are the easiest to earn, but if if you have access to RBC Avion points, you can trade those points at a 1 to 0 0.7 ratio for American Airlines or by transferring Marriott Bonvoy points at a 3 to 1 ratio to either American or Alaska. Overall, however, you'll want to consider that Air Tahiti Nui's business class experience isn't all that great as it's in a 2 2 2 configuration without direct aisle access from every seat. Instead, if you're looking for a premium flight to match your dream vacation, try also taking a look at Air France's business class from Los Angeles requiring 95,000 flying blue miles or if you're looking for a budget flight option from San Francisco, there's French B, which is a low-cost leisure airline that offers very cheap fares in economy class, so if you're okay with flying economy, that's an option to consider too. Finally, once you arrive at Papeete, we can finally get to Bora Bora, and there are a few ways to do this. Air Tahiti is the biggest domestic airline with the most frequent flights, although these will run you about 400 US dollars per person round trip. Air Moana is a new startup airline here in French Polynesia that'll have cheaper fares but less frequent flights. And finally, there's actually a ferry that you can take as well called the Apitahi Express, although this will take much longer at about eight hours in duration before you finally arrive in paradise. Or if none of those options work, maybe you can swim there. It's only 258 kilometers of open ocean. Now, once you get to Bora Bora, you'll obviously need a place to stay after a long day of swimming, snorkeling, enjoying the sunshine, and taking in the dramatic views of Mount Otamanu. So let's talk about the many hotels and resorts that exist out here in Bora Bora. One of the first hotels you should consider looking at is the Conrad Bora Bora Nui. Falling under the Hilton Honors Group, you'll be able to use Hilton Honors points to book free nights at the hotel here, valuing in at 120000 points per night. But that's not all because the Hilton Honors program offers a fifth night free, meaning you can stay here for only 480,000 points for all five nights. All of these Hilton Honors points can be earned by signing up for the Amex US Hilton Honors cards, such as the No Fee Hilton card, the Hilton Surpass card, the Hilton Business card, or the card I personally recommend the most, the Hilton Aspire card. This is because if you sign up for the Hilton Aspire card, you can earn an annual free night reward giving you another free night at the Conrad Bora Bora Nui, and that's something that you would only earn by spending $15,000 on the lower tier Hilton Surpass or Hilton business cards otherwise. But that's not all, because by owning the Hilton Aspire card, you receive automatic diamond status, giving access to the best possible upgrades in addition to the benefits from Hilton Gold status, which you can also earn as a perk on the Surpass and business cards. And both Hilton Gold and Hilton Diamond status comes with free breakfast at the resort, which can definitely save you a lot of money when it comes to the food expenses. And plus, when it comes to the Conrad Bora Bora Nui, you'll definitely want to inquire about about room upgrades as a Hilton Elite member if possible because the base level room that you can book on points here which is the Lagoon View Suites is relatively uninteresting compared to the beach or overwater villas. Now another hotel you should look into is of course the hotel I'm staying at right now, the St. Regis Bora Bora. Booking a room here at the St. Regis is a bit tricky as availability can be hard to come by. So again, I warn you to book as far in advance as possible so you can stay at the best places that Bora Bora has to offer. This hotel will run you 120,000 Marriott Bonvoy points per night and the program also offers a fifth night free, meaning that your stay here at the St. Regis for five nights would only cost 480,000 Bonvoy points. Marriott Bonvoy points are of course available through the Canadian and US issued Amex Bonvoy credit cards, such as the Amex Bonvoy card and Bonvoy 
Bonvoy business card on both sides of the border, the Amex Bonvoy bevy card in the US, or perhaps the best one for this situation or any aspirational Marriott stay, the Amex Bonvoy brilliant card issued in the US. And that's because similar to the Hilton Aspire card, holding the Amex US Bonvoy Brilliance gives you platinum elite status, earning you free breakfast during your time here and possible upgrades to a better villa. Again, if the base level room, the garden villa here, which faces out to the reef and doesn't really have a usable beach, is not to your liking, then you may want to reach out and inquire or perhaps even spend a little bit of cash to secure an upgrade to a beachfront villa just like this one, or perhaps even one of the dreamy overwater villas with direct aisle access to the ocean and incredible views of Mount Otamanu. Now, in addition to the Conrad and St. Regis, there's a few other properties here in Bora Bora that are worth knowing about, but perhaps a little bit less accessible to book on points. There's two intercontinental hotels, the Intercontinental Moana and the Intercontinental Thalasso, the latter of which actually faces out to the mountain and has the best views. Each of these offers you free stays by using 120,000 IHG1 rewards points per night. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then you can start racking up IHG1 rewards points by using any US-issued Chase IHG credit card and be sure to always keep an eye out if you do plan to stay at these hotels because the intercontinental Bora Bora resorts have been very difficult though not impossible to book on points in recent years so be sure to snag any available nights if you do spot them and finally there's what some might consider the pinnacle of luxurious resorts in Bora Bora the Four Seasons known for its world-class service and some very beautiful swimming pool and spa facilities the Four Seasons comes with a very unfortunate catch and that's the fact that it doesn't have a points program so if you do want Want to stay at the four seasons you'll have to save up the cash for that one as well though when it comes time to book make sure to book through a four seasons preferred partner travel advisor who can add extra benefits like breakfast upgrades and a 100 dollars property credit to your stay if you want to book with a preferred partner advisor you can do so with our very own travel agency here at prince of travel you'll find the link in the description below but there's still one more consideration though if you're dreaming of a trip to an island paradise should you come to bora bora or should you go to the world's other famous destination for overwater villas and luxury resorts the Maldives. Make sure to check out this video on how to book a similar dream trip to the Maldives so you can decide for yourself.